Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. Hope everyone is doing well today and happy Independent Bookstore Day. I hope everyone was able to get out to an independent bookstore and spend some money supporting them today. I went to two independent bookstores today, so I thought I'd share with you my independent bookstore haul. The really fun and interesting thing was most of these books I haven't ever heard of, so I'm super excited to share them with you because they were very interesting to me. The first bookstore that I went to, I went with my friend Ryan from This Charming Rant. I've talked to him about him before, um, and I'll link his um, link below for his uh, blog that he writes. Um, we actually went down to Morgan Hill, California, which is a little town south of San Jose, um, that I didn't even know had an independent bookstore to Book Smart. It's Books and Toys in Morgan Hill. And um, it was really, really cute. It's pretty small, but what I thought was really interesting is that they had a lot of books that I had never heard of. And you know, as book people, how rare it is that we run into a book we have never, ever heard of. So I was super excited for that, and I got a bunch of different stuff. So let's get started with the books I got from there. Um, the first book I got was What Becomes Us by Micah Perks. Um, the reason I picked this up is because there's a quote on the front by Lauren Groff. I love Lauren Groff. I've read all of her books. Um, so because I don't know these books very well, I'm going to read a bunch of them to you, but I hope I can uh, make that interesting. It says, Dear Reader, this is a story of our mother Evie, who abandons our controlling father to start fresh on a dead-end dirt road in upstate New York. Her life, her new life is perfect, except she's pregnant with us, twins, and growing bigger and hungrier all the time. And she's trying not to fall in love with our neighbor, who's married to the bravest woman she knows. And why is mother obsessed with Mary Rowlandson, the starving colonial captive? What kind of world are we entering anyway? Has it always been this way? Dear reader, can our hunger ever be satisfied? What I thought was interesting when I uh, picked this book up is that Lauren Groff says she's obsessed with Mary Rowlandson for 20 years, so it's probably a historical character I don't know anything about. So I'm really interested to see how this winds up turning out. And uh, that's What Becomes Us, ooh, that was close, by Micah Perks. And that was the first book I picked up today. So, so the second book I got. Um... I love a book about a bookstore. I love a book, a book about stories and novels. And I found this one. It's called A Very Special Year by Thomas Montessor. Now, I think the cover is so bad, it's great. It's like so bad. It's so bad. But what I know about this book is it's about a woman who inherits a, inherits a bookstore from her aunt who has passed away and there's a whole group of people who are obsessed with a book that she sells there that doesn't have an ending it's an unended book and they keep coming back and she comes into the bookstore thinking she's gonna turn the business around a little bit and sell the bookstore and then she gets involved in the mystery of this book and these people and I thought that sounded really interesting it's not very long actually it's like hundred and fifty pages 65 and it's um translated from the german i believe by jamie bullock so that's a very special year by thomas montessor and a book about a bookstore bought in a bookstore how cool is that so i'm super excited about that one the next one was a great find i don't know if i i think i've talked to you guys before about my obsession with roxanne gay if you haven't read on my blog i have a whole entire blog post about seeing her earlier this year and I get to see her in a couple months when her new book, Hunger, comes out. And I think she's an amazing writer. I own everything that she has written, and I've read most of it. But I found this book called Urgent um, Unheard Stories by Roxane Gay. I had never, ever seen it or heard about it. It's a signed copy. And it's just a collection of very short, short stories that she tackles certain topics in. Um, I thought some of the story titles were really interesting. Two Damn Books, How I Got Here and Where I Want to Go. Story one. The second one was the one that kind of grabbed me. The Ten Best Books About Modern Virgins. So I thought that sounded interesting. I adore Roxane Gay. So that's Urgent Unheard Stories by Roxane Gay. Now I have to tell you, the next book was an amazing find for me because... 
I didn't think that this author was published here and they had her book and that is When God Was a Rabbit by Sarah Winman. Winman, I think. Now, I already talked earlier about Sarah Winman's second book, which was A Year of Marvelous Ways, which I listened on audio to. Now, I am one hour from being done with When God Was a Rabbit on audio right now. I've been listening to it for about a week and oh, I love it. What I will tell you is um, I'm going to save most of it for my wrap up, but it's the story of a family. The main character's name is Ellie and she, um, she's just, she's an, she's a very unique character. And it's the story of how her family evolves over time. Um, her family wins, um, some sort of sports booking award. They get a lot of money. They move to the country. Um, her brother, moves to New York, and then 9-11 plays a part in the book. She has a friend who she is very good friends with when she's young who disappears on her, and then they get in contact later in life and kind of how their story unfolds. Um, it is so good. Sarah Weinman, I really almost would recommend her on audio more because she reads her own books, and she's an actress, and she's so good at narrating her books. Um, this one is a lot sadder than A Year of Marvelous Ways. And, you know, she has a new book coming out this year called Tin Man, which Simon has talked about on his channel. I don't know if he's talked about... Yeah, on his channel. Um, and also kind of did a post on Instagram, I know, about how that book is life-altering. So I'm very excited. I was so glad to just be able to pick it up. I told Simon, I think she's my favorite author I've never read. So that's When God Was a Rabbit by Sarah Weinman. You can get it from Book Depository. Um, so if you are interested and you're here in the States, you can get it there. They have free shipping and I'll link it down below for you. Okay. Um, the last book I picked up there was all because of Mer Mercedes over at Mercy's Musings. I will link her review of this book below, but she talked about The Clay Girl by Heather Tucker um, only last week. I think she read it two weekends ago, um, and it's a story of a group of sisters and their life. They go through some horrible, horrible stuff as children and kind of how that affects their youth and their teenage years and their adulthood. The way she described this book I had to go pick it up immediately, so I will let her do the talking below, but um, it sounded so phenomenal. It's called The Clay Girl by Heather Tucker. The reason it has a seahorse is our main character's imaginary friend is a seahorse, so I think um, that's kind of fun, and I cannot wait to read this, and I was so excited to find a copy there today. So, The Clay Girl by Heather Tucker. So next bookstore we went to was um, Books, Inc. in Santa Clara, California. We kind of came up the freeway. It was about 30 minutes north. Um, and we got there, and they were doing this fabulous thing where they had the 75th anniversary truck for A Little Golden Book. Now, A Little Golden Book is a publisher here that we probably all read when we were children. Um, they have a lot of very famous books. Uh, the Pokey Little Puppy, I think, is their favorite, or their most famous. They published my favorite children's book, called, which has Grover in it, called The Monster at the End of This Book, and that's the book that I buy for my nieces and nephews when they're born. Um, all of them, every single one of them has gotten it from me. Um, but they had this whole sort of setup for children, and I bought my niece and nephew three books. Speaking of which, The Pokey Little Puppy. I also got Polite Elephant, which I think looks adorable. And I also got I Am a Bunny. Now, when I was checking out the guy who, I think he's probably in his 60s, said that this was his favorite children's book when he was little. He was obsessed with the ladybug in it. And um, it brings back good memories for him. So I'm so excited to send these three books to my niece and nephew so that they can get in on the uh, A Little Golden Book series. Um, so that was the first three things I bought at Books, Inc., the next thing I bought, I had never heard of, but it's beautiful. Look at this. The Best We Could Do by T. Bui. Now, this is a debut graphic novel, and I'm going to show you some of the art inside. Let's see if I can get a good one. Um, 
T. Bui is a Vietnamese writer who lives here, actually, in the Bay Area. This book is heavy. <laughs> I was going to tell you that. Um, and this is the story of her giving birth to her children and then also telling the story of her family um, migrating here from Vietnam, I believe, um, under very stressful circumstances. And... Oh, excuse me there. Um, and it talks a lot about um, how they had to deal with America when they got here and what they, the kind of the political atmosphere, the racism, that kind of stuff. Um, it just sounded so good. I started reading it in the bookstore and I got like 25 pages into it just standing there. Um, the artwork is very clean and very fun, and I thought it sounded like something interesting that I didn't know a whole lot about. So that's The Best We Could Do by Tweed Bui, and I'm excited about that one, isn't it? The cover is beautiful. Great art. Last but not least, so you guys know I am obsessed with books about old women, and I ran into a series in the first bookstore that I had never heard of about a woman, but they didn't have the first one, so I had to go hunting in bookstores for it. <clears throat> and it's called, uh, the first one is called Miss Julia Speaks Her Mind, and it's by Anne B. Ross. Now, there are 14 or 15, maybe even 17, and there are a lot of books in this series, um, and it is about a wealthy widow. The first one is about a wealthy widow whose husband has just died, and all of a sudden a woman shows up on her doorstep with a son, oh, a child, like a, and says, this is your, son's, your, your husband's bastard child here, and gives it to her. And she is... Um, a sassy old lady and she just it's kind of like what she has to talk to I love this line it's based in the south and it kind of has some references when you read the reviews to um oh, what's the movie I'm totally breaking Steel Magnolias so that on it and it says suddenly this longtime church member and pillar of her small southern community finds herself in the center of an unseemly scandal and the guardian of a Wayne nine-year-old whose mere presence turns her life upside down. So, you know I had to buy it. I know you had to get, I had to get it. It's about an old woman. It is so classically, like, Southern. I, I just, it's so exciting to me. If you are one of those people that has talked to me about books about old women and things that you love, I think this sounds like a great series to get involved in. And that's Miss Julia Speaks Her Mind by Ann B. Ross. So. Those were the books I got today on Independent Bookstore Day. I'd love to hear if you guys went shopping. What did you get? Please talk to me below. I'll link all of these books below for Book Depository. Um, if you guys don't know what Book Depository is, it is um, a place where you can buy books from all over the world, and they do free shipping internationally, so that's pretty cool. I'm getting a set of books that are not published here in America sent to me um, that People have been talking to Simon, Mercedes, Lauren of Lauren and the Books. They have all been talking about these books for so much that I just went and bought them because I was so excited. Um, so I link them to all the books below so everyone can order them for them safe place. Um, so they're all going to be down there. If you've read any of them, I would love to hear about it. Please uh, talk below. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Um, and if you return, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thanks very much.